Take a look at this picture right here. Notice anything interesting about it? This is what's called a Sierpinski triangle. This is a special type of fractal. We'll talk about what all of that means in a few minutes. But let's start with the first thing. What is a Sierpinski triangle? We'll start, what's a Sierpinski? Well, Sierpinski is the person who came up and who discovered this special relationship that we're going to talk about. So if you feel interested to read about it, by all means, you can go on Wikipedia, take a look at it, see what he's all about. He has some other interesting things as well. We talked, we're going to be talking about the Sierpinski Triangle, which is a fractal. Here's the Sierpinski Carpet. Take a look over here on the right-hand side. You can see six steps of the Sierpinski Carpet. You'll see what that all means in a few minutes. He also has a Sierpinski Curve. It's not an interesting looking, so we'll skip that over. So what exactly is this? This is called a fractal. And what a fractal exactly is, let me take a look at it and read it right here. This first sentence pretty much explains it pretty well. It's a natural phenomenon or mathematical set that exhibits a repeating pattern that displays at every scale. So the fact is here is a repeating pattern. If you look at this fractal right here, this is called Cook's Snowflake. Take a guess who came up with that idea. Another Swedish mathematician, von Cook. In this particular case, they took a repeated pattern of drawing triangles using thirds of the sides of the triangle. So if you look at this first drawing, they took a third of each of the sides out and drew another triangle. And then what did they do? They took every side of this and made another triangle. And then made another. And as you can see, what it ends up looking like. There's another description down here of this as well. So you can watch this from the triangles to more triangles to more triangles and more triangles. And it actually resembles a snowflake. So, back to what we're talking about. We're focusing on the Sierpinski Triangle. Let me have you look at another example here to show you how this actually works. And we'll start from the beginning here. Here's the beginning. Notice these triangles keep popping on and popping on and popping on, and it splits up and gets smaller and smaller and smaller little triangles. We'll talk about how this is constructed in just a minute, but let's take a look at a few other ways to look at the Sierpinski Triangle. Here's a three-dimensional version of the Sierpinski Triangle. Again using smaller portions of tiny triangles and using a repeated pattern. There's another example right there as well, three-dimensional Sierpinski triangle. This Sierpinski triangle right here is actually one one of my classes made last year, and we may have an opportunity later this week to try to make our own three-dimensional Sierpinski triangle. But for today, we're going to focus on just the two-dimensional one. And again, here's another piece. Here's what you're going to do. We're going to go through this in just a moment together, but I want you to read this real quick before we move on. A Sierpinski triangle starts with an equilateral triangle. My recommendation is to make the lengths whole numbers. I'd pick something maybe like 6 or 8, something that divides nice and evenly, and you'll see why that is in a minute. Here's the key, and this is where the Sierpinski triangle, the repetition begins. You're going to find the midpoints on each side to create the vertices for that new triangle. So going back to that first, that second picture, that's how this is being created here. So as you look, the first triangle is drawn. That's the mid-segment. That's the mid-segment. And this is the mid-segment. So what's happening is we're drawing constant mid-segments of each triangle as we go through. And it's a repeated pattern. That's how the Sierpinski triangle is being developed. So let's take a look at how we can design one ourselves. Here's a drawing I have right here of an equilateral triangle. This particular equilateral triangle is 6 inches by 6 inches by 6 inches. Now when you design your own equilateral triangle, keep in mind two things. Number one, pick a length, but then number two, make sure you use a protractor to measure out the angles. An equilateral triangle is also equal angular, meaning each of these angles should measure 60 degrees. So when designing your Sierpinski triangle, you need to start with a good and proper equilateral triangle. Again, picking something nice and even like a 6 or 8 might help you out in the long run. So to draw the Sierpinski triangle, what you're going to do is draw the three mid-segments of our first triangle. So I take my handy ruler here. By the way, just as a note, that's a pirate right there. And yes, if I was in school last Friday, I would have dressed as a pirate like all the other teachers did. So in the good spirit, I'll use a pirate ruler for this. Anyways, on track, this is exactly six inches as you can see. My mid-segment mid will be at the three-inch mark. 
I'm going to do that to my other three, my other two sides. So there's three inches. Here is another three inches. And those are the midpoints of my triangle. So what I'm going to do now is create the mid segment by connecting those points with each other. So one, two, and finally three. Now the upside down triangles we will do nothing with anymore. So at this point we're basically going to ignore this upside down triangle. This is the first step of the Sierpinski triangle. The second step of the Sierpinski triangle is now to go to the three right side up triangles and do the same thing as before. So I'll take a mid segment somewhere here, somewhere here. Again, use a ruler. I'm doing this right now for time so you don't have to watch a 10 minute video of me drawing this. But we would sketch it out something like that. And we'd sketch something out like that. Lastly, you would do the same thing up here as well, so find your mid-segment. This would be the second step of the Sierpinski triangle. And for your last step, you take this triangle, this triangle, this triangle, this triangle, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And you would do the same thing one last time. Your goal is to do three steps of the Sierpinski triangle. Now, just like those great cooking shows you watch on TV, I have a finished product that I can show you what something should look like here. And voila, here is an finished result. Now, I took some color to mine. I'm not that creative, so I just simply colored each portion of my Sierpinski triangle a different color. So I did a green up here, purple down here, orange down there. I'm sure you guys can certainly beat me out and draw a much better triangle and with much better color and creativity than me. So let's go back to the description to wrap this video up. So again, here are your requirements. You need to draw an equilateral triangle. Again, I've given you my recommendation. You're going to do three steps of the Sierpinski triangle. So three rounds, and that is right here, three rounds of drawing midpoints and triangles. Okay. Like I said, add some color, color it in, make it look good, make it look creative. That's what I want you to do with this. Have some fun with this and make it look good. I'd like your Sierpinski triangles to be finished by this Thursday's class. So when I see you on Wednesday, we can go over and answer any questions you may have regarding this activity. Spend some time today in class to start it. Keep in mind the agenda on the Google Doc so you know exactly what you need to do before you leave class today. However, if you get things done early or you have some downtime, pull this out and try to get as much of the Sierpinski triangle drawn in class as you're able to. This concludes the video on Sierpinski triangle. Again, if you want to look anything else up about the Sierpinski triangle, I highly recommend doing a Google search, checking some things out. If you need some additional help, check out YouTube. Type in Sierpinski triangle and see what other people have done to create these great shapes.